Hi, I'm Jose Armenta, and this is your Federal Employee Benefits, where we cover topics aimed at helping first federal employees like you make smart financial decisions. Today, we're going to discuss the three TSP withdrawal options you have when you retire. Now, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's cover your three uh, withdrawal options from the TSP. Now, there is some confusion here because your withdrawal options when you're an active federal employee are different from when you are a separated federal employee. Okay, so once you separate from federal service, go into retirement, you'll have three withdrawal options. Okay, the first, first option, well, actually, let me back up here. We're going to go through the three withdrawal options. And then at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think is the best option. Okay, what I see works best for federal employees once they retire. Okay, so let's jump right into the first option. The first option is called the lump sum option. It's very straightforward, and it's typically what folks think of when they think of withdrawing from their retirement account. Okay, the lump sum option means that you can make a request to withdraw the entire balance or a portion of your TSP. Okay, so if you need 12,000, you make a lump sum request and take the 12,000 out of your TSP. Okay, now you can withdraw as many times as you want for uh, using this withdrawal option. However, there is a restriction. You can only make one request every 30 days. Okay, they only process one request every 30 days. Okay, so that's the, the major restriction when you're withdrawing from the TSP is they only process one request every 30 days. Now the next option is called the installment option, okay? And it's when you select a certain dollar amount and you have that deposited into your account periodically. Now when it comes to the frequency, you have a few options. So let's say you want deposits made on a monthly basis, you can do that. Quarterly, you can also do that. And annually, you can do that as well, okay? So um, let's say, for example, you needed... 20,000 a year uh, in retirement, okay? And you can do that in the beginning of each year, right? Every January, have an installment of 20,000 deposit into your account. Or if you chose to break that up on a monthly basis, you can also do that, okay? So that's the installment option. And again, this option can be changed at any time, but the TSP only uh, processes one request every 30 days, okay? Now the last option, is the annuity option, okay? And this option is uh, involves the TSP working with MetLife, taking a portion or all of your TSP, and then purchasing an annuity with that amount, okay? And now what this does is it creates a what's called an immediate annuity, and so you give them a portion of your TSP, and in return, they give you a fixed dollar amount uh, for it could be the rest of your life or for a period of time, let's say 20 years, okay? There's, there's a, a lot of different options when it comes to annuities, um, and so th that's basically what it is, okay? You're taking the TSP and you're purchasing it. Now, the, the thing to uh, really think about here is that you're buying a guarantee with an annuity, okay? You're guaranteeing that you're going to receive a certain payment for the rest of your life, life or for a certain period and for that guarantee you are going to pay a cost okay there is a cost insurance company will charge you for the annuity and i've seen uh annuity costs range from one and a half to two and a half percent of the balance okay of the um amount that you're purchasing so it's not uh it can be expensive but it can work for some folks now for federal employees I don't see the annuity option work often, okay? It doesn't make sense often because you already have two sources of fixed income, okay? Which is what an annuity is. It's fixed income. As a federal employee, you have your first pension and Social Security, right? Now, these are your fixed income. You can rely on them. They're not going to decrease. They're only going to increase with cost of living adjustments. However, 
you don't have a lot of flexibility with these uh, sources of fixed income, right? If you have a major expense, uh, you cannot take more from your pension. You cannot increase your Social Security benefit. And that is the same with an annuity. So although an annuity provides a guarantee, which folks uh, enjoy, it also limits your optionality in retirement. Okay, and so that's why for most federal employees, I don't see this option making a lot of sense because you already have your fixed income part of your retirement strategy. And if you, the TSP is really provides the optionality in your retirement strategy, right? It provides the uh, potential to grow with investments and it provides uh, optionality, liquidity, right? If you need money, you can go to your TCP and take a, a withdrawal. If you turn that into an annuity, well, you lose some of the optionality and you lose some of that growth potential because now you have bought a guaranteed payment at a, a fixed uh, cost and your payments will not increase. So something to think about, those are your three retirement options. Now, when it comes to what I think is the best option, it's a combination of the two. So when I'm working with federal employees, what I see works the best is when they have an installment. So let's say on an annual basis, they'll take out what they need for that year. So let's say you need 24000 to live off of. You'll have an installment in the beginning of the year, 24000 And then use the lump sum whenever expenses come up, right? If you need to buy a new car, replace your roof, something like that, you use the lump sum. So the, the best option that I see federal employees use are those two, a combination of the two, the installment and the lump sum. And those are your three TSP withdrawal options once you separate from federal service. Again, what I see works best for federal employees is using a combination of the, the installment option and the lump sum option. It removes some headaches and gives you less that you have to worry about once you're in retirement. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. That's the best way to support this channel. And until next time, I'm Jose Armenta. Take care.